What is up guys? I am just gonna go over my physical media TV show collection. A lot of them are DVDs for whatever reason. Uh, Blu-rays of television shows used to be hard to come by. They're, they're more accessible now, but I'm gonna start with the classics. This is definitely, since I was a kid, one of my favorite shows when I caught it. Um, when I was very young, I was like, well, this is old and probably not funny, but this is hilarious. Just classic, influential television, golden era stuff here. Ralph Cramden, Ed Norton, Alice. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for this show, we wouldn't have shows like The King of Queens uh, that came out later. And uh, I ran by a statue in New York City this summer, walked right by it, and I was like, that looks like... Ralph Cramden. And it was, you know, Jackie Gleason, the actor, obviously. And what I love about this show, um, and I don't know if that's the same for I Love Lucy. I'm not like a big I Love Lucy fan um, from the golden era of TV, but uh, this was all live. I broadcasted live. So if they flubbed their lines, you know, there's nothing they could do about it. And they did just an excellent job. Uh, with these lines and, and with their acting and just comedic gold, just hilarious stuff, so the Honeymooners. And speaking of the King of Queens, bought this a while back on DVD for really cheap and they're kind of stacked in there, but what a great show from the late 90s into the 2000s. Jerry Stiller, who plays the father, Arthur Spooner, also in Seinfeld, just steals every scene that he's in. Kevin James is Doug. Leah Remini as Carrie, just have great chemistry. Great, funny cast. Patton Oswalt, Lou Ferrigno. Uh, just hilarious stuff. And every now and then I'll, I'll pop a random episode in and watch it and, and laugh. So I think these were reruns on TV. Were probably like short films in the 30s and 40s before the main feature. But uh, Pepe Le Pew. This was going for some ridiculous amount not too long ago um, when they you know, the cancel culture mob basically said Pepe Le Pew is offensive, so everyone jumped on this. And I bought this for cheap. It was like $13, $14, you know, it wasn't bad. So, uh, pretty good disc on it too. No scratches or anything like that, but uh, classic, classic stuff from Warner Brothers. More classics, Looney Tunes. Bought this recently on Best Buy. A lot of it was selling out at the time. I don't know if they've restocked or if if they're going to restock, but it has Pepe Le Pew, again, the controversial French skunk. Uh, and uh, Bugs Bunny, Yosemite Sam, and uh, Foghorn Leghorn. I'm surprised that Foghorn Leghorn hasn't become a target of uh, people who want things canceled from the past. But uh, all these are just classic, great comedy cartoons, and I'd watch them all day. South Park, my absolute favorite television show ever. And this is on the day that uh, they announced Trey Parker and Matt Stone are going to do South Park on Comedy Central all the way up to season 30 and then 14 South Park type movies um, for $900 million. Some, some crazy amount like that. So uh, good for them and I'm glad this stuff is continuing. It is still relevant today and in my opinion just genius the the pandemic special uh w was awesome just great to laugh you know during um these uh times in in 2020 and uh the vaccination special again was was the same so i have every episode except 23rd season i kind of wait for this to drop but this is a 22nd season on blu-ray and i love these these box sets and i have every movie every tv show um, from Trey Parker and Matt Stone ever, except for maybe their first college episode, um, unless it's on one of these special DVDs that I have, and this is not opening for me at all. Oh, it's kind of enveloped this time, right here. No, I did it wrong. Oh well, I'll fix it. There's the box set right here. It has um, this is the season where they kind of apologize to Al Gore and making fun of Man Bear Pig and accept um, some of the things that have happened in terms of of that um, I guess political controversy over climate change and stuff like that but 
so, so funny. And season 19, I mean, 19 seasons in, and it was just a perfect season with PC Principal and um, all that stuff. If you haven't seen season 19, it is funny stuff. So, yes, uh, Integrity Farms. Nobody got cereal, Buddha Box, Unfulfilled. These are all Bike Parade, um, Dead Kids, A Boy and a Priest, about the Catholic Church and all that. So, st still going at it, still relevant. Trey Parker and Matt Stone and South Park. Awesome stuff. That 70s show box set, the complete series. I have been looking for a box set of this. The DVD is usually a good price, but for some reason, another box set of this Blu-ray, I don't know if it's still re uh, going for ridiculous amounts on eBay, but um, I found this box set for a decent price. Um, nothing too, too bad or overpriced, so I jumped on it. And this is a show Talk about a show that will never be created again. I mean, they just smoke weed in a circle, say things to each other that teenagers say, used to say to each other, and uh, just great. And also, I'm not sure what season, there was a season where I stopped watching this show, but it was whenever Topher Grace, who played Eric, the kind of the main character, left the show and they and they had a replacement. I'm not sure what season that is. I think I remember watching the final episode when it aired, but I have there's a bunch I have not watched with the new character that kind of replaced Eric, so I'll definitely check that out. Just a funny, great cast, great chemistry. Um, I don't think they'll make sitcoms like this anymore. So Since I'm talking about sitcoms, I have to mention Seinfeld, my favorite sitcom of all time even better than Friends in my opinion and this I will watch all the time I think I've gone through the whole DVD set that I have twice already it's kind of random there's kind of the thick box sets and then uh, these type of um, packaging that I have so I'm gonna wait till they come out on blu-ray I don't know if this will ever come out on blu-ray but there's a DVD box set uh, floating around out there which I might pick up Goldberg's season one Great sitcom, a little repetitive, like every episode is the same. There's some issue with the family and then they make up and, and there's a great 80s song at the end. But uh, just nostalgic and, and hilarious stuff. I have kind of stopped watching. I'm not sure what season they're in now, but uh, I definitely like the Goldbergs. J.J. Abrams Lost. I have every Blu-ray and DVD of the series. There is a Hatch Blu-ray um, box set that goes around and if I find one for a good price I'll buy it but this is my favorite drama by far um, I think it ran from 2004 to 2010 just six seasons and season two is my favorite with the hatch and I have not revisited this much but I would love to it was just a great drama and great stories and depth with characters the Outsider, HBO production. This is a total blind buy. Stephen King book that I read a couple of years ago. Pretty good stuff from what I remember. Good engaging story. Uh, Page Turner, as Stephen King usually is. I'm reading Desperation, which came out in the 90s, um, when I should be reading history books, but um, it's kind of hard with, with Stephen King. It's hard to put down his books, in my opinion. So A little wordy and, and a little lengthy sometimes, but but very good author. Anyways, The Outsider, HBO. HBO, you know, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, were just at the top of their game with The Sopranos, uh, Six Feet Under, and other shows. So, um, And then Netflix kind of took the helm recently. I want to see this, though, since I read the book. Looks interesting. Right there. There's the... Oh, there goes the disc. Yeah, broken teeth right there in the middle. But it looks like three discs. Blu-ray. Not sure how many episodes there are, but hopefully binge this and like it. That'd be awesome. Also from HBO, Band of Brothers. Back then, I think this came out in 2000, just millions watched, including myself, every episode that came out every week. And this is a DVD, 10 set, and I think there's a Blu-ray of this flowing around if I ever grab one for cheap. But... Better than Saving Private Ryan. I love Saving Private Ryan, but this is a true story of Easy Company that were part of the airborne division that jumped behind enemy lines uh, basically the night before the Normandy invasion on land 
and it goes from there all the way to Hitler's Mountain um, at the end of the war, and it is just good stuff. So, uh, also interviews with uh, people who were actual soldiers uh, before every episode. So, really, really good. The Pacific, kind of a follow-up to Band of Brothers, and underrated in my opinion. These uh, invasions of the islands, Solomon Islands, uh, Iwo Jima, Okinawa is just brutal. Um, I've seen it twice, the invasion of Okinawa scene, and I don't want to see it again. This is this is some some bad stuff, and it really shows the destructive nature of war, and and it is really good. So if you haven't seen The Pacific, another HBO production, check it out. And the last HBO series that I own, this was so good. I want to watch this again. Uh, True Detective season one with Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey. So good, just a great investigation story with flashbacks um, from the present to a case that kind of haunts these guys, and uh, very good. Season 2 was, was not as good, obviously, a lot of people didn't like it, and I have not seen Season 3. I knew that that came out, I think, last year, but it kind of flew under the radar, um, so if I pick up a copy of Season 3, I'll definitely binge that one. The only... AMC series that I own, and it's kind of random series, is The Walking Dead Season 1. This was great, great television. There was only six episodes from what I remember. There's a little card right here. Great inside artwork. Just awesome stuff, and it really got me hooked. And this was also when Breaking Bad was airing, and everyone was into Breaking Bad. Uh, I live in Albuquerque, and they still do Breaking Bad tours, and I see the kind of iconic areas where they filmed Breaking Bad, but I watched season one and I just couldn't get into it. I don't know why, and um, I just, during that time, watched Walking Dead. So, but I didn't watch all of it, and I have stopped watching The Walking Dead, but season two was really good, and I have season three, and I don't have four and five for whatever reason, but I did get this season six, uh, tin or, or steel book. And this was around the time when I stopped watching The Walking Dead. I believe this is an episode where there's like a group of zombies um, migrating and grouping up where they live and they try to divert them or something. And I think it was the next season where the character Negan came in and killed Abraham and Glenn in the first episode and for whatever reason I just stopped watching. It wasn't on purpose or anything like that. I wasn't upset. I just kind of lost interest. And every now and then I'll try and watch a, an episode and I just can't get back into it. I heard that um, season 11, which is coming up, is their last season. So maybe I'll try and watch an episode and see if I can get back into it. But good early series. Um, and I'll probably pick up season 4 or 5 someday. So. On to Netflix shows. Cobra Kai season 1 and 2. And this is with the headband has a Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do reversible headband on here. It used to go for a lot. I'm not sure if it does anymore. Nice slipcover. DVD, of course. I don't think it ever came out on Blu-ray. I could be wrong. I know there's Blu-ray disc recorded copies on Stinky Tuna, maybe of all the seasons, but season three hasn't come out on physical media as far as I know, and season four is coming out soon, but I definitely binged this. This was awesome, awesome stuff. So I hope they keep making season after season. We'll see. Cobra Kai. Stranger Things, the only other Netflix show I watch besides Cobra Kai. This is a season one VHS box set, which is awesome. When it came out, people were grabbing it up. It was for like $24.99, dropped to $19.99, and I bought it on Black Friday of that year, I remember, for $9.99. And I thought that was a great deal, but throughout the years, I've randomly seen it restocked on Target shelves for like $5. It's really crazy. So, anyways, awesome box set Blu ray, season one, and then. Season 2 is awesome. It has like the shell casing, old VHS shell casing, and I haven't seen this one around much. And then also I bought the Season 1 4K, and I'm going to open it now because I have a 4K, and it would be great to watch this on even higher definition, and I love the front cover, just nostalgic stuff. All this stuff, like since Super 8 with uh, kids on bikes, like it and stuff, you know, kids do still go outside and ride on bikes and stuff like that. It's not like some glorified thing from the past. How do I? Oh, there it goes. So I think it's basically like the Blu ray, just different artwork. 
And I bought this for it was it was a good price as well, maybe fourteen ninety nine or something like that at Target. Yeah, it has the discs and everything. Maybe a little different artwork and stuff inside. And definitely worth it for if you have a 4K. The Tick, the complete series, this is definitely the cheapest TV series I've ever bought. It was $1.99 at Best Buy. Has David Warburton in it, who played Putty and Seinfeld, just hilarious uh, show stealing stuff with him, and then also uh, the voice in an Emperor's New Groove. So I don't know how this is going <laughs> to look. I'll definitely check it out and see if I like it. Um, I don't know how many, probably short run. Yeah, there's only. See how many episodes? Looks like nine or ten episodes. Nine episodes, and maybe the series was cut. And I cannot pass this up recently. It was going for $9.99 on Best Buy, the complete series of Chappelle's show. If you were not alive back then, around 2003, everybody was talking about these sketches. Uh, Black Bush, if you haven't seen it, um, when the invasion of Iraq was happening, just hilarious. When the um, Rick James sketch came out, everyone, everyone was saying, I'm Rick James, bitch. Like, you couldn't stop hearing it. It just quickly became part of popular culture fast. And then uh, the story of, of how the show ending is is crazy. It's just crazy. But the, these sketches... I. Are amazing. Uh, looks like we have multiple discs here. So Chappelle Show, good stuff. And I hear he might be doing a Chappelle Show again on Netflix. I'm not sure if that's true. Anyways, this is classic, classic sketch comedy. All right, guys, that is my complete and entire collection of TV shows on physical media that I own. I hope you have a good one. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.